Please welcome to the stage from Z88.3, Allison Tyler! Welcome, 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 welcome. So glad to have you here at the theater tonight. Uh, by the way, my top partner, Tyler, wants me to point out that she is pregnant. Not just gaining weight. Just to make sure everybody knows. No, I'm looking at my ankles. Out of everybody you've seen, uh, who have you enjoyed the most? Wow! What a coincidence for you tonight! Here's your opportunity to get to know them just a little bit more. Please welcome Mercy Me. stories of how that song particularly means so much to so many people. I'm sure you guys get a chance to hear stories too. Is there kind of one story that maybe sticks out to you that has really uh, just kind of resonates with you whenever you, when you think about how God uses your music to affect people's lives? No, no kidding. <laughs> uh, you know, we had the chance to... Um, to perform a few years ago at Fort Hood in Texas, um, and it was for the, um, I guess, the soldiers that caught Saddam. They had just come home, and uh, wow. and we had a chance to speak with one of the commanding officers in, the, I guess, their platoon, I guess, or whatever their company. And uh, he, before we could get the words out that he's our hero, because we really do have a huge appreciation for the. Uh, uh, for the men and women in, in the military, he uh, he kind of stopped us and said that he had lost several several uh, men in his in his, his company and and that every night that him and his I guess next in command commanding officer I'm totally butchering this would walk around uh, Iraq every night and listen to Imagine over and over and over just to just trying to you know trying to get through what they had to deal with and. He said, you know, it doesn't matter how many you lose, you just don't get over it, and especially when it's under your command. And, 
And, and then he kind of said that we were his heroes, which was kind of a joke as far as we thought, compared to what they do. And, um, but that was a pretty touching moment to hear, you know, these, this man of a man kind of break down and talk about how the song got them through something. Well, I know you guys have done thousands of shows. What would you say was probably the highest high? And if you want to answer it, the lowest low you've ever had just going out touring and being Mercy Me. Low, slow. Just don't say tonight. No, okay. never busy. Yeah. Middle school day. Uh, yeah, it would have been in our independent days. Jim was kind of acting as booking agent and took a show from a friend of his in Clinton, Oklahoma. And we basically ended up being the, the background music band for what he told his junior high students was going to be their homecoming dance. <laughs> told us it was going to be a Mercy Me concert. <laughs> told them junior high dance. <laughs> so we went into this building, um, not even maybe about the size of that little bleacher section back there. And they didn't even have any light. They turned off all the lights. Like there was a light over the building. He brought two little desk lamps and set them on the floor. The with the green top. <laughs> we were not sure we could see on the floor. <laughs> We had people, like these kids, walking up amongst us. We weren't even on the stage. We were like on linoleum and they were on carpet. And they would just walk up in our little linoleum area and start requesting songs like, Hey, you know any tone low? <laughs> While we're trying to play. And uh, that, that was definitely low. And I still hold him fully responsible for that. And he did it on purpose. I yeah. That was his last show he booked. Yeah, the, uh, the youth minister uh, came up to us in the middle of the show and said, he explained to us why we're playing that it was supposed to be a dance, and so could asked if we could just play some Yanni type of music to make it slow dance. <laughs> so top notch youth ministry right there. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> and then our high would uh, uh, hmm. probably have a Grand was last crusade was was a good in New York City. Uh, so hey, far, the first time I played in front of the castle here for me was a huge high because I grew up going to that. I grew up you know thirty minutes from here, and so that was. Like, really good. Some Mercy Me fans here who have questions. 